Kelsey, second interview in two weeks, but when you get that many goals, it's uh, inevitability. Talk us through it today. Well done, and, and what did you make of it? Um, yeah, it's similar to, similar to last week. It was one of them. I had three chances and three goals. Um, I'm, I'm, I mean, I know myself that it's you can't stay keep doing that. that. I mean, you can aim to keep doing that, but at some point misses are going to come, etc. And that's something you got to accept. But I mean, in the run of form that I'm in, I can got to enjoy it. Uh, there was one or two records last week with both of you doing it, and today you've achieved it for the club for the first time since 1973 with the fact that there were back to back hat tricks in successive games. The same player doing it. You go back to 1966, I know that doesn't mean very much nowadays, but they are very rare occurrences. Yeah, um, I was. <laughs> I thought, at like, when I, when I went up to, to speak to you, I thought it was going to be one of them where it's the first player to ever do it. So I'll have to do it in three games, see if anyone's done that before. Um, the goals, the first one that set you on your way, you had to be patient because they were sat in and looking to contain you. Uh, yeah, I think we just had to, you know, move the ball around and um, get them get them moving their feet across the back four, um, and then eventually they didn't shut off one of the gaps, and then I just kind of found the gap, rolled the defender, and then I, th I thought I missed it. I thought it was going wide, but it hit the post and went in. Um, second one, you you've been quite inventive with some set pieces today, presumably to try and keep it away from their big lads. But the one set piece after half time that you whipped into the box, you were the man to get your head on it. Yeah, it's just, it was a strange one because they're they're just heads on a stick at the back, so they're just anything that's going to come into the box, you'd expect them to win. Um, and then it was just one of them where it's just come over everybody's head. And I, had, I mean, I had a free header in the six yard box. It's like it doesn't come around every day. I thought it was, thought it was Christmas when that came. And then the clinch of the hat trick goal, you won it in midfield and were breaking your neck to get on the end of it. Mickey did ever so well for you. Yeah, yeah, Mick's Mick's been incredible. Um, the way that he's come on from the start of the season, he, he makes an impact whenever he whenever he trains or plays. Um, so yeah, he's, he did brilliant and then just laid it back to me and it was it was a simple finish. Um, and I think it's two years since you, your ACL, you've been back nearly a year now. Um, there must have been some dark times, but presumably when you deliver what you've done over the last week, it, it makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, there was it's some, some low points there, um, but yeah, when I speak to a lot of people, they say it takes you takes you 18 months to two years to get back to your normal self after an injury like that. Um, luckily, I can say I've done it in a year. So um, just got to try and stay fit and keep pushing. 15 apiece for you and Jimmy now. There's a bit of uh, competition developing on that front as well. I would say that he's got 14, but it's my partner. I can't take that away from him. <laughs> um, but no, it's it's healthy competition every day. We always, always want to be on different teams to each other um, so you can score the most in training. And then I just think when it comes when it comes to a Saturday or a Tuesday, it just it all comes together at a minute. Uh, back into the top seven, seven to play. That game in hand at Banbury last week could be crucial. But next up is Chorley, and probably on paper the the toughest one that's left. Yeah, I, I think that's our marker um, next week to find out. Because in my eyes, we're 100% finishing in the playoffs if we carry on doing what we're doing. Um, I think Chorley next week just is the marker of whereabouts we're going to finish in the playoffs. Um, so I think if we get a result there, then there's no reason that we can't finish third.